Well, hello there, brothers and sisters of Evil Blitz Universe. You're watching Bad Blitz Addict again. Welcome back to the channel. Sorry for this late time, but I didn't have uh, no time during the day. Uh, but I want to show you this uh, review of the T34 1, the Chinese tier 7 medium tank. And it's a hell of a tank. It's, for me, it's basically one of the best medium tanks at tier 7. Um, it teaches you the playstyle of the later tier 8 tanks, tier 8 mediums, Chinese or uh, Russian. But basically, uh, it has 100mm gun, same as uh, tier 8 tanks, but it's tier 7. It has strong turret, not much of a gun depression, only 6 degrees, but it still can play hold down. And just look at those camos, so, those are standard camos for the Chinese tanks, and I really love them. They are just the best looking standard camouflages in my opinion for the whole game like this one i prefer the best it's really really epic but let's go and see the provisions consumables and the gameplay so for consumables standard multi-purpose restoration pack repair kit and adrenaline for provisions improved food improved fuel and protective kit because this tank has ammo rack in front so it's really useful as for ammo loadout, I use 18 uh, shells of AP, 8 APCR and 8 HE because HE pan is great with calibrated. As you can see, uh, 55 pan on HE, great. Uh, also, I'm using enchant gun, lane drive, uh, vertical stabilizer, uh, improved modules, enchant armor, and I would go for the toolbox, but it's not needed. Improved optic, of course, and engine accelerator for the last one. It depends on your uh, consumables. You can use both. Both work great. And let's check the armor now. As you can see, it has really, really strong turret. So it's typical for mediums of Russian and Chinese mediums. Uh, it really can bounce a lot of shells. Now I'm shooting uh, type, type 5 Chiri, which has quite good penetration. Still no chance to pan. Um, the hole isn't great. So you have this 6 degrees of gun depression. You need to just stick uh, behind some rocks and show only your turret and then this tank will sink as you can see it can uh, you can also just bait shots by your front like this just poking out back back and forth and trying to bounce on this uh, front plate but it's not really great as you can see uh, and you can side scrape a bit if you have to you can uh, simply uh, try to bait some shells on the sides but let's shoot with the tiger uh, medium tanks or medium tanks. Let's shoot with the best penetrating gun on tier 7. Uh, as you can see, uh, well, <coughs> not much changed. The turret can really, really bounce a lot. And you can just treat it like a impenetrable, basically. Even on tier 8, it's really, really hard to pan. Uh, but let's uh, just uh, look at the games. I, I prepared two games for you because the last uh, are you. Uh, review was such long long review and I had uh, I, I thought that this uh, would be a bit like uh, 12 to 15 minutes it's more uh, simply better for you to watch uh, but I want to show you uh, where the positions where you can use this tank and this time we are on Canyon as I told you we don't have much of a gun depression but we have uh, decent mobility we have a decent armor profile on the turret, of course, because it's typical for those uh, medium tanks. But still, it's enough to create some situations. You simply need to um, find the spot for your tank when you can uh, just uh, just the low low ridges, low uh, not very steep terrain, but uh, enough to hide your hole. Like we have here, we can hide our hole and just uh, stick our turret out and still we can uh, deal some damage and don't get damage in return. Uh, so, as I told you, the dispersion of the gun isn't really great. The aiming time is not bad, uh, but the dispersion isn't great. But for tier 7, 100mm gun on medium tank, I wouldn't say it's a bad gun. Uh, I would even say it's a great gun <laughs> and if you stay long enough uh, in the game so you don't die uh, you can deal a really massive amount of damage i saw like 4k even 5k games in this tank and you have to remember that's basically a, a level of tier 9 tier 8 tier 10 tanks and it's a tier 7 tank 
and it's a medium it's not a heavy it's not a td it's mobile it's well armored on the on the turret and we really don't want to lose uh, all our hp because there's all uh, there are five reds uh, left but we have great position here in the middle and i know we there's middle should be clear by now there's only one tank here uh, and uh, he's on the other side of the hill we can try to deal with those uh, pesky heavies on that flank uh, and uh, try not to get shot in return uh, so we as you can see even tier 8 heavies aren't really uh, hard to penetrate even though they have space armor and uh, and uh, just magic russian armor you can you can deal damage you can still deal damage if you shoot through obstacles like we uh, shooting here uh, there's no 100% uh, sure you're gonna pan because you lose some penetration over distance you lose some penetration over obstacles um, but if you shoot straight in it won't be really uh, that hard to penetrate you have with calibrated shells you have 184 uh, in terms of penetration it's, so it's basically like uh, mode 1 uh, or uh, I don't know T44 or type 59 and those are premium tanks at tier 8 guys this is tier 7 tank so once again it's a really great tank if you if you want to learn how to play a type 62 object 140 uh, all those tier 8 tier 9 tier 10 Chinese or uh, or Russian medium mediums it's a great tank to play it's a tier 7 so you still have um not that much you can you can still make mistakes there are a few big really big guns uh, at tier 7 that can uh, harm you uh, so you can learn uh, the techniques you can learn the style of of those uh bigger uh higher tiers uh high tier tanks and at the same time have some great fun and like as you can see make some money so here's the second game this time on canal and this thing tank can really perform uh, on this map because as I told you you have strong turret you don't have much of a hull armor but uh, there are some hills over there that can uh, give you a uh, advantage of your strong uh, turret I'm going for the position when I can hide my hull my hull as I told you isn't really uh, spectacular but my turret is and uh, now I'm showing uh, my enemies only my turret which is the great opportunity to deal some damage as you can see i'm not easy target for the those on hill and even if they hit me they are hitting my uh rock hard turret which can really bounce a lot of shells uh, mediums basically can't pen it really uh, maybe panther one uh, but it's still gonna be hard uh for him to pen of course if you show the sides of the turret uh, the sides aren't that uh, great in terms of uh in terms of uh, armor but still uh, when you face it frontally it's really really hard to penetrate as you can see uh, we have this crumble here unfortunately we weren't able to uh, shoot him or hit him <laughs> it, would, it would be more uh, yeah the RNG is really trolling the gun dispersion isn't great really isn't really great uh, I wasn't uh, talking about uh, uh, the tech the, the sorry the stats but you can check the stats it's a tech to tank uh, so I'm skipping the stats in the tech to tanks because you can uh, watch them anytime you want or you can visit blitz stars blitz hangar or whatever and just just look at the tanks uh, but you have 280 alpha which is really great at tier 7 you basically have stronger uh, guns uh, than some heavy tanks <laughs> so yeah it really works great and as you can see you can uh, try to make some gun depression by using uh, those ridges and hills and uh, basically if you have to uh, face hug uh, or fight one on one uh, basically try to try to get as close as you can of course this uh, cockroach is uh, low enough so he can uh, hit my uh, lower plate which isn't great for me but he i don't know he maybe he has some connection problems i have no idea what what he was doing uh but this gives me opportunity to to just simply you know, deal some damage farm some damage from him and uh still be effective as you can see we are sitting already at 2.5k 
and it's two against three but thankfully we saved uh, most of our hit points uh, and uh, we're gonna simply deal some more damage here uh, there's an ARL great tier 6 heavy uh, but as I told you we are on epic tier 7 medium so we are not scared of the ARL uh, so sorry for those uh, who uh, just simply watch the watch the chat but if you watch the chat for a bit or a bit more you would see that this guy was really playing on the nurse uh, he got tracked and just kept kept crying at the, the chat so uh, once again sorry if, if you just have to watch it but well life is life I'm not that kind every time as you get frustrated doing goals games and I know how this guy this guy really feels because I also get frustrated from time to time but as you can see we finally managed to finish this game uh, with quite good results so we sit over uh, 3k damage like 3.1 almost uh, let's check exactly 3092 damage 4 kills first class top gun high caliber 29,000 credits and 1029 base XP which was really really good for a tier 7 game and basically that's all for this episode boys and girls thanks for watching if you like my videos please subscribe uh, or consider subscribing to my channel uh, it helps me a lot join my discord the link is in the description below Take care, bye bye and catch you all on the battlefield.